Hey everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. It has been a long, long time. Before we get into all that, let me tell you a little bit about this build. It is a one bed, one bath, sort of cottage style home set in Windenburg. It's on that cute little island with, oh, I just, it's my favorite place to build in the whole game, I think. I just wish the lots were bigger. Of course, I suppose I could demolish another lot and build there, but no. If you hear him meowing, it's just my cat. Every time I start speaking, he has to talk to, it's, it's a thing. He does it when I'm at work. He does it all the time. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so the build, let's get back to it. I used a lot of stuff from the um, using the show hidden objects cheat, which I don't ever use because I find it really irritating to have to scroll through the menu and you can't clone anything. It's just a pain, but there were so many cute items and I found the cutest little fence, which you will see in just a little bit. I had a blast. Also, I was going to put in a pond and then I didn't. <laughs> and the reason is because I just could not figure out a good place for it. The house is too big, honestly. I, I meant to make a smaller house, believe it or not. It's actually really small, but that didn't happen. And it just it just turned out how it turned out, all right? Anyway, like I mentioned, it has been a long time since they posted on my channel. And the reason is because I just... I got burnt out. I was in a really horrible place. I just recently moved. I moved almost across the country <laughs> again, and I'm in a much better place now, a much healthier environment, a much healthier mindset, and I've finally been able to build again. There were times when I would sit down and try, and I just couldn't, and there was nothing. Nothing would come. But here is that fence I was talking about. I don't think this is one in the regular catalog. And I loved that broken piece too. I thought, I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. I had to use it. And so I put that almost, almost around the whole like perimeter. Um, I used some hedges to kind of break it up. I, I think almost all the landscaping I did with the live edit object cheat on. Plus, when you use that live edit object cheats, a lot of those plants are zero dollars, so they don't contribute anything to the price if you are one of those people who makes your sims actually save up money instead of cheating, which is not me <laughs> when I play the game. <laughs> anyway, um, so there's not a ton outside. I did put some of those gardening boxes and I put a chicken coop because I wanted to use as much cottage living as I could because I love that pack. Another thing too, since the last time I posted a speed build, so many new packs have been released. There's been kits like kits what <laughs> and there's just so much stuff and I and I was almost scared to build because I don't know what all the new stuff is and so I wanted to use some of that so I tried to use a lot of cottage living I think I succeeded I don't know I I really don't um so yeah and I think this is one of the first builds to have ever left the floor plan in and I mean I mean honestly why wouldn't I it's so easy um the bathroom is I just, okay, so <laughs> this is one of my typical voiceovers, rambling, rambling, and more rambling. The kitchen does not stay this blue color, and you will see shortly. I liked it at first, and then all of a sudden I hated it, and I had to get rid of it. And <laughs> so you'll see what color I change it to, and I like it a lot better. I will say this is not one of the, my favorite interiors that I've ever done. It just, maybe it's just because it's not my personal style. I'm not sure. I just, it's, it's not my favorite. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I think it looks okay or I wouldn't have posted it, obviously, but it's, it's not my favorite. Um, it took me forever to find a stupid table to go in the dining room and then I couldn't decide on like a wall color and then, oh, it just, it was, I didn't think I was going to finish this build because I could not handle the kitchen and then I couldn't I was so overwhelmed in like the item catalog I didn't know what to put for clutter and you know how I love to clutter I love it and I just couldn't because I couldn't find anything I couldn't remember where anything was I couldn't remember what items were my favorites except the jungle adventure mirror which I did not use in this build which is the first time that I've ever probably not used it in a build but I'm very proud of myself for that um oh and those paintings I'm so excited about all the new swatches that they gave us in the base game updates and there have been so many of those too like I just I can't keep up with it I haven't it's, it's just too much um, I also just realized I forgot to put curtains on those windows and that is going to drive me insane. Not that it matters because there's not really any neighbors that could see in anyway. 
And I guess if someone wants to see in your house, they're going to see in no matter what you do. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I can't remember. Do I change the color of the kitchen right away or do I wait? No, I think I do the... Okay, I remember now. So now I'm going to the bathroom and I end up deleting that window because I couldn't fit the sink and the toilet in there. I mean, I could have, but I wanted to be able to put the mirror above the sink, and I couldn't do that if that stupid window was there, and I wanted the bathroom to be usable. I will put this build on the gallery if you'd like to download it. If it's not there and you see this video and you're like, oh, I want to download that, it's not there, you should let me know. Um, okay, see, this is why I changed it, because I found this wallpaper with those cute little mushrooms. Oh my gosh, so I had to use that, and then I had to change the whole color scheme of the kitchen, obviously, to match it. So yeah, so I originally was going to put it in the bathroom and then I took it out of there because it's just, it was, it's a lot. <laughs> it's definitely too busy to use an entire room. And then I used those columns because I thought they looked really stupid with the, um, it has like that, I don't know what you call it, that, that brown part. Anyway, it just looked dumb when it came up with the painted wall. So, um, and then we're moving into the bedroom. I did end up using the bed. I think the bed came from Cottage Living, which I thought was really cute. Um, and I do change the wall color here as well. I just was very indecisive in my wall colors. I love those lights I put above the, um, oh my gosh, I'm saying um all the time now. Um, the, <laughs> oh my God, Andrea, get it together. The <laughs> I'm going to get the giggles now. Okay. Anyway, I love those lights I put above the side tables. They are so cute. It took me 14 years to find a rug to go into the bed. Okay. We've gotten all of these packs and we have not gotten any good rugs. None. Zero. And can we just have a rug stuff pack? That'd be great. And here I'm using more swatches. I was so excited when they gave us more colors and options to choose from from this, those, that specific um, photo frame because I used it all the time. And I did put a bunch of plants here because initially I really wanted this build to be like a crazy plant lady build and it didn't end up being that. But that was my initial like idea and I really wanted to use that chair too but I ended up going with the one from cats and dogs which incidentally I'd like to mention that I would love to have that chair in real life because it looks so soft and my biggest journey in life is trying to find the softest blankets and the softest pillows that is all I dream about <laughs> soft things <laughs> um, I threw a few things on the side tables here to kind of make it look a little more lived in and then I think we move on to the living room which is the final room in this house because it is a very tiny house I'm sure I forgot something I almost forgot a kitchen sink initially but you know whatever we got there in the end um, I was going to put a big TV and then I realized that this person probably spends a lot of time outdoors. They probably don't have a giant TV, so I gave them this little one. Also, that bookshelf that came with Seasons, why is it so big? Why does it need to be that big? I don't know. So I used the cats and dogs one instead. Same thing with the furniture. <sighs> you know, I love how it's like, yay, cottage living. And now I'm just like, use whatever. <laughs> and then I just threw down some like yarn and the cross stitch kits. Um you know, a random mismatch assortment of furniture is in here. This is the weirdest room I've ever met. Anyway, I've ever met, I've ever furnished. <laughs> anyway, we are wrapping up, going into the screenshots. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.